Hello, this is Vern, and if you're a single woman, stick around because I'm going to be sharing with you four facts about men that you should definitely know. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm super excited to be sharing with you four facts about men that you should definitely know. If you're a single woman, I'm gonna be prefacing this video by stating that these are not rocket science principles. In fact, these are such simple concepts that the fact that they're simple is part of the reason why so many women, and when I say so many women, I'd say the vast majority of single women don't pay attention to them and end up getting hurt unnecessarily, wasting not just time, years of their lives unnecessarily, and create a much less fulfilling dating experience than they could. So the first one is men's words are useless. I'm gonna underline and uh, accentuate the word useless without action. Here's the truth of the whole thing. Any clown, any buffoon, any joker, any idiot can get really excited about connecting with you and promise you so many cool things and come up with ideas and concepts and future plans in the short term. But if those words are not matched by action, that guy is either trying to <laughs> make a fool of you or unknowingly is making a fool of himself because he's simply getting too caught up into the emotion and the hormones and not really willing or able. Sometimes it's not just willing. Sometimes he's willing, but he's not able to follow through with action. That's why when you connect with a guy and you feel like this is my guy, you need to spend quality time with him and really evaluate this throughout a few months so you can really know that this guy is the same or better than he used to be, not worse, okay? Second fact about men you should know is if he wants to make it happen, there's nothing you need to do for him to make it happen. Here's the truth about men. If he's a grounded, conscious, masculine dude, if he knows what he wants, part of the DNA of being a man is making shit happen, is breaking through fears, insecurities, barriers, and figuring out a way, a puzzle, is part of the masculine essence, right? Figuring out how to break free from life's constraints. So if you're, one, you're a woman in the middle of a situation, in the middle of a relationship, in the starting phases of a dating thing, or in the middle or advanced stages of a dating thing, and you're thinking that you have to do all these things for your guy to finally commit, to finally do something about it, that's not the approach I recommend. The approach I recommend is that you focus your energy on expressing who you are, on being fun, friendly, alive, and that you understand that if he really wants it, he'll make it happen. In man speak, there's words and there's actions and there's excuses. If the guy can't see you because something happened, but he comes up with a way of seeing you the next day or the next couple of days or the next week for that matter, that's something. If the guy's always busy, if the guy's always, there's always something going on in his life where he can never make it happen. He's almost always there, but he can never quite do it. He's wasting your time. Number three, a confused man is more dangerous than a dishonest man. You'll say, Bernie, yeah, I think you're pushing the envelope right now. Why, why the hell do you, mean, what do you mean when you say this? Here's what I mean. Uh, when a guy is dishonest, unless you are completely disconnected from your heart, unless you're completely not paying attention to your intuition, sooner or later, something will say, man, there's something weird, funky, creepy going on right now. Let's address it. But when a guy is confused and he's taking, he's half-assing it, so to speak, he doesn't know if he really wants to be with you, but he knows he doesn't want to lose you. So he's doing half and half. He does just enough not to lose you. But then when push comes to shove, he can't commit. He can't make it happen. He has those excuses that I just spoke about come up. That is way more dangerous because uh, what happens in your life is when you have enough comfort to stay, but not enough discomfort to leave, 
that situation where the guy doesn't know what he wants can end up costing you a decade of your life. And I've seen many examples of women who lost at least three, four, five, six years with a guy who's confused. So if a guy is confused, give him as much space as he needs without connecting with you until he knows what the hell he wants. Because otherwise you're gonna end up suffering. Number four, his consistency is worth more than his intensity. In other words, I'll say it to you in, in a way that you might understand more. Chemistry, if you're someone who wants lifelong commitment, if you're someone who wants passion, sustain, sustainable love, and you have a lot of chemistry without commitment, that is the equivalent of a drug. What is a drug? Something that makes you feel really good in the short term, but in the long term makes you feel like shit. That's what chemistry without commitment is. Exciting and fun and, and makes you feel adventurous but it comes to the point where you feel like you're being used. So be really aware of a guy who, with whom you feel so much intensity, but who's not willing to go the long road with you, who's not willing to commit. Because that, I, again, I see a lot of women who get stuck with a guy and they think they come up with all these mythical qualities and they attach them to the guy because they're unwilling to say, I feel so much chemistry with him. So chemistry is awesome and I definitely encourage you to connect with someone with whom you feel a lot of chemistry with, but not at the expense of commitment because if there's a chemistry without that, you'll end up suffering as well. So hope this is helpful, useful, insightful to you in some way. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or on the link right now somewhere on your screen here, you're gonna see a pop-up that allows you to sign up to a free webinar that I'm hosting where you will learn how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. It's absolutely free and really powerful. If you have any questions for me, place a comment on any of my videos, including this one, and I'll be happy to reply to you personally or create a video just for you. Thank you.